Welcome back to the Cooks uh, Winter Cooking Flames, the Winter Edition. So this is our second week. So today we're going to be cooking a uh, another pasta dish with a penny pasta, but we're going to change up the sauce. Uh, we're going to be making the Alfredo sauce today from scratch with roasted zucchinis and marinated grape tomatoes. So first things first, before we start our pasta dish, we're going to start off your boiling water and make sure you add your salt. So the ingredients we're going to be using today, we have flour, butter, minced garlic, grated parmesan, whole milk, the penne pasta, and heavy whipping cream. So once you see your water start boiling, you just want to add your pasta in. It usually takes about six, seven minutes to cook the pasta. So the first step into making the sauce itself for Alfredo, we have to make the bechamel sauce that makes that binds the Alfredo sauce together and makes it thick. So you just want to get a little small saucepan on the lowest heat. So we're gonna grab one and a half tablespoon of butter, and you just want to melt the butter there. You want to put it on low heat so the butter doesn't burn. two cups of milk into a saucepan. And you can put that on medium if you don't want it to over boil. Once your butter is melted, you wanna add two tablespoons of flour. So this is the bechamel uh, roux that we're gonna make. This, this one makes the alfredo sauce thick enough. You just wanna grab a small whisk. It is gonna turn into this this clumpy texture. We have we're gonna make sure we have incorporate the butter all over the flour. You should get something like this. Now we're just gonna wait for our milk to heat up, and then we're gonna add the roux, the bechamel inside the heated milk, and then that's when we add our all our other ingredients. So after you, after you see your milk starting to simmer a little bit, you just want to add the roux inside the milk. And you just want to slightly mix up the milk and the roux together. You want to break down apart the bechamel inside the milk so it thickens up. Uh, grated parmesan all melted. You can turn off your heat because the sauce is complete and done. So it'll be thick substance. And you can put this on to the side. So for this recipe, this makes about a whole box of pasta uh, that you would get at the store. The, the recipe that we're doing right now for the pasta portion, I did a fourth of the box. So after that six, seven minutes is done, you just wanna check your pasta. Just wanna feel that it's al dente. We're gonna put it in our bowl. So now we have the pasta done, the Alfredo sauce done. We can, so we are gonna be putting roasted zucchini so all I did was basically put the zucchini inside the oven, salt, pepper, and roasted it for about 15 minutes. And then with the great tomatoes, I just marinated it in olive oil and basil. And just mix it together. We're gonna add this at the end of the dish. So once you have the sauce and pasta cooked, you can start cooking the dish itself. You want to get a hot pan ready. All right, so you want to get your pan really, really hot and add your olive oil in. Then you want to add your pasta in. So the kits that I did give you guys is pre-portioned already to the sauce and the pasta. So you want to add the pasta in. And 
then you want to add your Alfredo sauce. bit of salt and pepper for the pasta. I think that's up to you, right? Then last up, we're going to be adding our roasted zucchini and marinated grape tomatoes. So you just want to Add that in last, it heats up really quick. And there we have, we have the penny pasta with roasted zucchini and grape, marinated grape tomatoes. It's a very easy dish, the recipe we did do can feed up to a family of four. So after you warm up the vegetables in there, you can now plate.